Alrighty, guys, here we go. So it is time to uh, hit up episode 10. So I just hopped back on where we left off. We left the cave. We have got the almighty shovel. And while I'm thinking about it, I need to pull this interactive map back up so I can figure out where we're going next. Well, you know what? I'll take that back again. Let me pull up uh, this bad boy right here because first thing we're going to do is go ahead and head up here to this first dig site now that we have the shovel. So actually, you know what? We've not even equipped the shovel yet. I want to see... Oh, and, well, there we go. Also forgot, I gotta take and switch over. Gotta switch over my mouse profiles so that I have the uh, the ability to pull my inventory and stuff up real quickly from my mouse buttons. So open that up, let everything get loaded in because I just started the game up. Boom, we got a shovel. Can we do, do our map while we look at our shovel? Yes, we can. Let's go. And also, too, okay, I probably need to get some, probably need to drink some water, but it looks like there's plenty of water sources up through here. And we have got spring, a uh, sprung in. Twin berries. Okay, we don't need twin berries. Just trying to take and collect any like herbal plants and stuff that I can whenever they are available and present themselves. Okay, so we can only we can jab with the shovel, and it looked like this shovel is like one of those tactical sharpened shovels. So okay, and we're like right in the middle of these two. We'll go ahead and go for the one that's like right in front of us, and that's kind of off towards the direction of our uh, house anyways, like our main base. I can't tell if my guy's running or if he's like, okay, there's walking, there's running, walking, running. It could be because I'm carrying a shovel. Let me, uh, let me put the knife down. Or maybe if we just like drop the knife. There we go. Or maybe it's because my guy, is it just because my guy's hungry? Let's flip and pull this out. Well, we got food wise. Okay, we don't really have any. Well, we got canned food. We got the canned food, so let's take and uh, I don't know if it's cat, like cat food, dog food, flipping spam, who knows? Flipping anything out of the cans, almost mystery meat, anyways. Okay, that helped my stamina. God dang it. Helped my stamina just a bit. I'll get all my. Uh, faculties back about me here in a short bit and maybe it's because my guy's tired i think i don't remember if whenever we left that cave if my guy was fully uh if it was daytime or not i know i built that shelter to save so i'm going to assume that it was daytime because it looks like my sleep meter is pretty low and if i had slept right beforehand then Okay, we don't, we got an energy bar. I know we just eat, but that'll top us off. There we go. And then we'll have to figure out, I think I marked most of the caves, but there's still bound to be caves and stuff we got to go to, because we, we, we got to find the key cards. The key cards is the next big thing, because none of the, uh, the, th there's two key cards, I think, and all the ones that we need are not available. We might actually need to get one before we get the other one. So, yeah, just continue to sip on some warm coffee. Oh, okay. And this right here looks like mutants and not... I don't know if these guys are coming to me. Because I used all my grenades and everything else. How much 9mm I got? Yeah, I'm, dead. I'm saving 9mm for cave activities. Oh my god, hello. God dang it, bro. I'm killing it right now. I feel like my guy's god dang like, legs are broken or something. I feel like I'm moving so slow. Bro, will you hold your head still? Jesus Christ. Well, I'm getting my cheeks absolutely gang banged right now. Kind of feel like I just need to whip out the axe on him. Okay. Ouch. I feel like I've only got two arrows left. 
God dang it. I gotta get my hotkey skills back real quick. Okay, I think I killed that one. I gotta get my flipping. God dang, why is my guy... No, that's the flipping thumb lord over here. Oh, God. I'm above ground getting my cheeks beat in. Okay, this is the only bottle of pills I got. Oh, I'm going to die. That's gay. That is the gayest homosexuality do jig I have ever seen. At least we're waking up during daytime. Okay, that's nice. That's exactly what I want right outside. Okay, see, so look, see, I think the mutants fight the above ground people. Like, they don't have good relations with one another. I don't know where my backpack is, though. Oh, I still got on a wetsuit. I guarantee that's why I'm flipping so slow. That's exactly what it is. God dang, I feel stupid now. What are you supposed to do? We just traveled all that way in this direction. Oh, okay. So normally with these videos are played straight through, but I'm going to save some uh, just unnecessary time traveling back to where I was and uh, edit to whenever we get past that or back to this camp or past that camp. What are the strangest house rules you've seen in a person's house? Story one. I was friends with a very sheltered kid when I was 10. I was playing video games with him, and after I got wrecked in a particular game, I exclaimed, Aw oh, man, what the hell? My friend and his little brother froze in terror after that, and the little brother ran out of the room fast. I asked my friend what was up, and he said very meekly, We're not allowed to swear. 
The little brother came back and sat down, followed closely by some very loud stomping footsteps. My friend's mom came into the room and said, Soupy Wolfie, did you just swear? There is absolutely no swearing in this house. Do I make myself clear? I was in fourth grade, which is around the age that you learn all the swear words and use them a lot because you think it's cool to swear. I was even on the fence on if hell was even a swear or not, but I let it slide and said, yes, ma'am, I'm sorry. A little while later, dinner was ready, so they called us to the dining room to eat. On the way over, I passed through the living room and saw a really big, crazy-looking sculpture. I pointed and asked, what the heck is that? Again, I was met with the deafening silence as my friend looked at me with his mouth agape. Soupy Wolfie! His mother exclaimed from the dining room. That's it! You're out of here! I told you no swearing! Perplexed, I replied, what? I didn't swear. I said heck, not hell. That set her off even more. Heck is a swear word too, and since you're not respecting our rules, then you need to leave. So I walked home and was never allowed back at their house. I stopped being friends with the kid since it was already a bit of a stretch based on how goody-goody he was. A few years later, when I was in eighth grade, I finished my tennis practice after school and I was leaving the school to walk home. I lived about three-fourths of a mile away. The kid was sitting outside of school on the bench and he was quietly crying to himself. Since he was crying, I walked over to him and said, Whoa, hey, Tom, what's going on, man? Are you all right? In between gasps of tears, he said, My mommy is supposed to pick me up, but I don't know where she is. What time was she supposed to pick you up? Four? It was 4.30, which meant he was on this bench for half an hour. Well, come on, you can walk with me. Your house is just a few blocks past mine. I walk home every day. It's no problem. I can't. He was still crying and made these long, gaspy cries when he talked. Why not? Sure you can. It'll take like 15 minutes and you'll be home. No problem. Come on. I'm not allowed to. More crying. All right, man. I was agitated at this point. Have fun crying on a bench then. The kid was smart and did very well academically, but we're in our 30s now, and after college, it seems like he never really did anything with his life. According to Facebook, he's not in a relationship, works at a grocery store, and he still lives in his hometown, which makes me wonder if he ever moved out of his parents' house. With how insulated his parents protected him, I would be surprised if he had the life skills to be able to order a coffee from Starbucks. First off, I grew up with hell being a bad word since I was raised Christian, but even in our fundamentalist church, heck was just fine, so that mom needs to chill a little. But also, yeah, parents, if you want your kids to flourish, don't protect them from every tiny thing. Story 2. Content warning. Racism. To skip this story, click ahead 1 minute 50 seconds. I went to a normal elementary school from ages 6 to 10 in South Compton. There was a white kid, let's call him Adam, because I forgot his name, whose house I had to go to for a group project. Now mind you, I was an anxiety-filled autistic child, so it was scary enough to go to someone's house as it was. Well, apparently the kid didn't tell his parents that me and two others were coming over for the group project. He admitted that no one ever comes over, and so he invited us without permission, probably to be rebellious. So I rang the doorbell, the door opens, and the parents were standing there extremely confused. Adam explained, and they were mad at him, but they looked at me and eventually let me in. Now, I'm half white, half Indian, and so while it was obvious I was a kid of color, I was still good enough. So I'm in the house, we're working on the project, and the doorbell rings. Parents are shocked, because they thought it was just me. The door opened, and standing were two kids who were black. The kids saw me and Adam and were about to walk in when the parents slammed the door in their faces and began shouting at Adam for inviting black people to their house. The rule was no blacks in their house, living in South Compton with a kid going to school that was 80% black. I had a panic attack from the shouting and they didn't know what to do so they just told me to go home. I ran back to the shelter, we lived in a homeless shelter at the time, completely in shock. At the time I couldn't fully comprehend what happened, having been in extreme anxiety. But looking back, it's just fricked up but hilarious at the same time. I can't help but laugh and be mad simultaneously, lol. As absolutely gross and abhorrent as racism is, I'm not sure I would call it a strangest house rule, just a really depressing and gross one. Screw those parents. I hope Adam grew up to be nothing like them. Story 3. I had a friend whose parents would lock her in her room at night, as in, the lock was on the outside of the door and once she was in for the night, the door was locked and there was no leaving, even for the bathroom. Holy crap. Okay, some clarity. I think I was like 8, so I don't know if kinky intercourse was involved. 
This was in the 80s, so it wasn't as frowned upon. Plus, as many of you say, sometimes there's a reason for it. I didn't know these kids very well at all and didn't get to know them beyond this weird thing with the doors. All I remember was that the door was locked at night once they were in for bed. I remember asking about the bathroom and I feel like she was just like, we go before bed. I always woke up in the middle of the night to go, so it stuck with me. She obviously saw nothing weird about it. I can't remember if I slept over, but I was a huge chicken and hated sleeping over at other people's houses, so I don't think I did. I do remember being frightened about fire. Okay, so I reached the hole. It is nighttime, and we are digging. So, unlo like, unlike a lot of things where it's like you just take and, like, you know, you dig, like, two or three times, and it just reveals everything, they've added it to where, like, you have to, I guess, like, pretty much excavate this whole area. I don't know how deep you can go in, like, the same hole. Um, okay, so... And, like, how wide this hole will be. But it looks like we got a decent bit. I'm saving my flashlight for an emergency because I've only got that, like, one battery left in it. Oh, but it looks like this might be an actually decently sized area. So we're just going to keep, keep on digging. There is stuff over here already, so I don't know if we should probably focus on this. Also not sure if this is a grave. Because, like, I know there's a lot of graves around, and those are marked on this thing over here. Um, and we'll go check and, like, dig those out as well. Now that we got the shovel, I mean, we might as well. Okay, I don't think we're making any progress right there. I think I'm doing it right. Okay, I guess we need to move back this direction. Apologies if I'm doing this wrong. It looks like this right here might be a hatch, maybe? I think so. Okay, so we might have went, not, might not have been far enough over yet. Okay. This is a very interesting uh, discovery, it appears. Okay, so we got a hatch. Okay, we had a hatch. Do I need my shovel back? Pretty sure we got all the dirt off of it. We found a bone. Okay. Well, it didn't say nothing about being locked. I don't understand what the dealio is with it not letting us in. So, you know, let's walk away from it real quick. That is strange. Do I need to hit it? Bro, work with me, game. What are you doing? Okay, maybe we need to... Uh... I really don't know what we need to do. I guess we could build another temporary shelter right here and save and see if it'll let us sleep into the daytime. I think it should be. It, the problem is it might be daytime soon. 
Wait, now that I got a flashlight out, let's see if that makes any difference. That's not what I wanted. When we first done that, it was like offering us the ability to go in. That is so stupid. Okay, well, it keeps pulling my lighter out for some reason, so I guess we'll just roll with it. But since we spent all that time digging that do jig up, I want to... Uh, I know there was another log here somewhere. Okay, well. Okay. Deliver us to the light. Even if it is, like, I think we're just back in the evening time now. Bro, what am I... Did I, like... I don't understand what's going on. Is it like something that I've around the edge that I'm missing here? I'm so confused, bro. This is so frustrating, though, it really is. Got lots of little rocks, though. Man, that is... I don't know what to do. I'm pretty sure that I've seen an open thing and, and not just a... Unless we gotta, like, use a time bomb or something. Let me see, like, on my GPS, where am I at? So, I am here. Down there is that. Pulling up the interactive map. Based off of the water source. Because we're near my base's water source. We're above it. We're not at the grave. We're on the opposite end of the stream. Dig a reveal. Uh, so this is dig to reveal the door to the maintenance A tunnel. Items note. So there's a maintenance key card in here, firefighter axe, laser sight, tuxedo, a pennant line book, album cover. Return, so let's see. And now it is open, so thank God that worked. Let's save again just before we go down this tunnel. So we know that it's open now. So there you go, that's a little uh, 
something for you if you're uh, playing this game and the tunnel doesn't open or something doesn't open, you just quit the game, restart it, and you should be good to go. So now the question is, are we going to have to fight a bunch of crap? Because it doesn't, I don't think, when I look at this inter, oh, when I look at this interactive map, wherever it went it's not showing any enemies on here so normally i think that means that you're uh you're good to go oh here we go i'm glad i looked around a bit more so i do need food i got a can of canned food well down there we'll probably find some beverages like in here some soda or something so i'm gonna just uh hold off on drinking any of my canteen water Okay, and we got an MRE, crunchy something another. Boom, some beautiful nine millimeter. Just don't want to miss anything. This looks like the hallway that we had to the. Uh, oh, the, what the tape, right? Energy drink. Look at that. This looks like the hallway to that three D printer. We've got an office here. A raw meat, cereal, lots of laser sight. Uh, this afternoon it was discovered that a painting for Mr. Putnam's personal collection has gone missing. If anyone has any information, please talk to me directly. So a painting, we got ramen noodles. Got a okay, so there is there's another 3D printer. This is a different so maintenance key card. There we go. Okay, let's print some more arrows. I don't know how many 3D arrows. I, got. I don't even know where the 3D arrows are at. Because there's those. They might just be completely out. Drop that. Album cover. I would love to turn that off wherever that's at. But. Okay, print that. We'll see if there's anything else. I know there was some of that, like, I know there's, like, tech armor or something. I'm assuming it's a lot stronger just because, you know, it is, like, something that you can, you have to produce yourself. So, I, normally that stuff, at least as far as the video game world's concerned is, uh, you know, stronger. It's just, you know, you can never have too many arrows. Oh, wow, we can save here? How swanky. Okay, I don't understand where that came from. Hey, calm it down. That's weird. I don't know if that was a glitch. Yeah, that was, that was very strange. I mean, I would definitely live in an underground facility like this. Not going to lie. Pennant line book. I cannot see that. Okay, I guess that's just like something you have to find for whatever reason. I don't know. Okay, so kind of a mostly empty bathroom here. So this must have been like a uh, very important individual's uh, living quarters, like a head a head person. But I dig the layout. I mean, a bathroom, that, a nice swanky little living room. You got your office set up in here. Okay, so we are out of that. So now we can sift through. We got a canteen. We got a mask. 
grappling hooks. I don't know if I like how many of these I've got. It might be full. Um, because like how many do I got? I know I've got four, six. Okay, let's do some more. Because it might come in really handy later on, we just don't really know it yet. Have some good old ramen noodles, get the old sodium levels back up. Because I've not really come across many grappling hooks, so I mean that's why... Okay, these things are coming from somewhere. Guess there's bound to be something more down there, I reckon. Okay, let's see what else we got, because I forgot all the stuff. Tech mesh, sled, arrows, flask. Okay, I guess we can do tech mesh. And I've got enough, there's that one plus the toner and stuff. I don't mean I got a thousand toners, so we'll just like. I don't even know where the toner, but yeah, I do. Got 101 left. Because I don't know if like the scary armor that I have on now is the strongest thing or whatever, but we'll make some of this tech armor and just see what happens. Might as well while we're here. And that way when we come across more uh, toner and stuff, which I'm sure we will. Okay, that's kind of a... But we got this key card now, and I think this is the key card that we need to uh, go in their pantry, which is in between here and where the shotgun is. Because it said maintenance key card, so I can look at this map and see if that tunnel kind of near where I'm at, like the food pantry, that's uh, where I know that one is at. It should be the last piece, so. Oh, we got to have wire. Oh, I bet this, like, lights up, so we got to have batteries for that as well, okay. Really figured there would be more uh, more stuff in here. I guess that room was just put here to uh, house those flipping, jumping baby do jigs. So uh, we'll save when we get topside. That way, if there's anything waiting for us. We don't have to worry about it sending us back down in here to this hole. And here we go. Sin from the darkness. Oh, wait, when did we get the firefighter? I don't even know where I got the firefighter's axe from, not going to lie, but I bet this one's probably more, I just spit everywhere, this one's probably more damage um, to enemies, but we'll see how it does, because I think that the heavy-duty modern axe is better for chopping down trees. It'll be on the tail end of my coffee here in a minute. Yep, that right there, I believe, is it. Alrighty. Well, I guess now all that's left to do is pull up our map and head towards our home base, which is also where
K5. I think, yeah, so I think it might be right there with the other ones. Can we not get a sip of water? There we go. My boy here's thirsty. Okay, got the map back out. So yeah, we're not far from our uh, housing setup at all. And so that still seems to pulsate whenever you're there. So now it's like, let's go up and over here. And over here's the other one. So the VIP maintenance door. So yeah, that's perfect. So the VIP key card is in this one. And because it's the maintenance door. And I've got the maintenance key card. So that works perfectly. Because I've already got a lot of stuff out of this. Like, I've been to that food pantry twice before because it, like, restocks. Skin pouch. God dang, just... Okay, well, we needed a tarp. I just took a very unnecessary amount of damage from that man. So maybe the reason why those guys was out here, like the mutants was out here that first time, is because uh, it was like getting ready to be nighttime, maybe? Ouch, ouch. My guy's getting his cheeks clapped. And I am going to scoot up and go ahead and go to my base first because I need to unload some things and I also need to uh, maybe equip some things because I don't know what's going to be waiting for us behind that maintenance door. Because it shows a couple things. And I also need to go ahead and put that laser on my handgun because I have that Picatinny rail that I found somewhere. I don't even remember where I found it at, but... I do have the Picatinny rail attachments for... And I might be able to put it on the shotgun or the, the pistol. We'll see if it's, like, interchangeable. But I doubt it. I think it's meant... I think it said pistol laser. Well, I mean, then again, what, what do we have that we cannot carry anything extra of? My, 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 we might just should go ahead and go ahead and we might just go ahead and go ahead. We might just go ahead and uh, hop down into the thing. I mean, why not? Because the hatch is already visible. Or wait, is this where we dig the grave up? No. But say, because like this is near my house, so like there's no way. Here we go. Then we'll be able to stock up on some extra food as well. Nice. Boop. Get that little bat jump scare that always comes up. There it is. I've been down this tunnel. This will be the third time, so I, I, I'm, I'm fully aware of the bats and their tomfoolery. Nice. Okay. I don't even care about those flipping steak bikes. Those are kind of pointless. But good to uh, get all the larger food items. And get the arrows out of the guys. Crossbow bolts. Thought there was more. I know this guy's got an arrow. Then 
in here. I forgot if there was a thing or two. It's just steak bites. And now we're in the new territory, baby. Check your corners. Oh, well, I got a nice little hydroponic set up down here. I dig it. Hydroponics is dope. Long-term food growth, baby, underground. Okay, this fire, I, this this axe right here is like stupid heavy. Kind of stupid, to be honest. Ooh, what is this? Crossbow! Let's go! I didn't know the crossbow was down here. Can we collect any of these plants? Nice. I should have known this is where the crossbow was because, like, there's flipping crossbow bolts upstairs, so. That checks out. Okay, let's pop some pills. It's like the crossbow bolts should last a hot minute because, like, it's, you know, you know where they're going, so they should be pretty easy to... Hello, is that a man? Whoa! Okay, so there are mutants down here. Oh, you gotta reload. You gotta hit R to reload. Oh, there was things on these that we can pick up. Ouch. God dang it. Nice. I don't know how many that was. What was that, five or six? We gotta check the wall, too, because it looks like there's... There's stuff along the walls. Like arrows and stuff stuck in the walls. This is a nice little area. So quaint. Just got to be careful. Just making sure. I just wanted to push in a bit and see like what was uh, what I was kind of running into. And it does make sense that there will be a lot of 3D printer stuff because like in a facility like this, you'd have to make a lot of your own components if you're underground. Ooh, okay. Did not know there was water here. Good idea to swim around, make sure there's nothing like chilling, floating in the... Okay, I just 
kind of a good idea to have the rebreather on now just because it gives you a flashlight that doesn't take away from your uh Not that you can have your flashlight in water anyways, I don't think. Okay, I did not... I mean, considering you have to have a key card to get in here, like, I guess it makes sense. I just didn't expect there to be this large of an area down here in the maintenance like, with the main... Well, I mean, I guess it's not a maintenance area. It's just you had to have the maintenance key card. But we've really got a lot of life out of this one air tank that was used. And I didn't expect the air tanks to last this long. I hope we didn't miss any other rooms. Well, this is going to get confusing as all get out, bro. What we got here? Can I move the thing? Got the VIP key card? Yes, sir! Energy drink, slug ammo, shotgun rail, let's go baby. Okay, I'm glad I noticed this little corridor over here. I don't think there's anything else on these shelves. All this stuff looks like it's done, did, went, and flooded. Ooh, okay. Ooh, VIP area. Let's go. I think I need to pop some pills because my guy's hurt. Let's get some energy in us. Oh, have some uh, cereal. I meant to hit the MRE, but probably going to take and have another MRE on my next uh, little out in here. Ooh, this is nice. This is very nice, bro. I, mean, I guess if you... Oh, hello. Can I get unstuck, please? Dress. Okay, so I got a dress. That's good to know that I got something I can wear to a flipping gala or a ball. Okay, so I just got to... What is that? Are those... Okay, a little confused at what's happening here with these guys, but I mean, these guys are like wearing tuxedos and all crippled and stuff. They're like butler mutants. God, what was that? What? I'm very confused, bro. What am I in? Well, that's one heck of a trip. Um, okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go up here, go to my main base. We're going to save. 
and then I'm gonna take and pick up, make some time bombs, maybe get some grenades, and uh, we're gonna figure out how to come back and regroup and flip and fight those Alfred Batman Butler people. I couldn't really get a good look at him, but it, like that one dude definitely looked like he was wearing a tuxedo. I'm pretty sure. I've also got meds and stuff stored, and I think this is like the first time I've got to see the base since I've added the stuff that I have to it. Um, but yeah, so I took and put a watchtower on the outside, got some logs to the side. That over there is just a walled structure. I've got drying racks inside that surrounds my uh, water source. Got skulls around here on the outside. Got some uh, storage for sticks, bones, arrows. Um, I need to plant some stuff here real quick. I need to put some... Uh, do I have any aloe? I do not have aloe. Okay, we'll do some of this right here. Okay. There's my useless friend. Uh, let's see. And then my main storage. I mean, I got storage in a lot of places now, but I guess this right here is where I got drugs somewhere, I think. I thought. Or I might have put the drug. Nope, there they are. And I know I got stuff to make bone armor. Right, there's time bombs. I don't know if I got any motherboard stored. Though. That's, that's something I didn't realize. Okay, I can't store no more of those there, so I'm going to eat these. Pistol, laser sight. That. Maybe we should go dig up that shotgun since we have so much ammo. Um, 42 slug, 15 buckshot, 30, 28, 9mm. Um, I think that's the smart thing to do. Like, I'm trying to evaluate what I got going on here. So our canteen's not exactly full. Okay, we do need to make armor. Just take and get all the feathers we can just to have. So, do need to probably collect a couple tarps to have on hand. That way we can save once we get down there if we need to. But this is my overflow. I need batteries. Okay, for some reason I was thinking I had more stuff I needed to unload, but maybe I don't. I don't know why I still got my lighter out. So yeah, like I said, over here, got our water source. Keep all the deers from taking a fat dump in it. Just drying racks. Uh, this is ready to be harvested, I think. Okay. Aloe's good. Boom. Plant this. Aloe's the thing. Like, there's aloe kind of nearby, but not to the extent that I need it to be. Okay. Got that. Um, oh, we got raw meat. So before it goes bad, let's do this. Okay. Nice. Was there any more raw meat? There is. Okay. I think that is all the raw meat. Nice. So now if we pull our map up. Where is that other dig site? I'm trying to remember because there's the site where we got to get the uh, flipping the other point of interest. I just can't remember which side of the island it was on. It was like one of the main graves. Or 
or it was like a main dig site. Dig site B. Okay, well, Dig Site B is actually not that important, apparently, because Dig Site B says it just has a compound bow and a 3D printer. So I don't even think we need to worry about that. Um, but what about the grave with the shovel? I mean, the shotgun. That's the question. Wait, final bunker? Where the heck final bunker? Okay, well, we know where the VIP... Okay, we know where the shotgun is now. And we know where we're at, but it's a heck of a trek over there. So, I mean, I think... Because of the footage we got, like, this, everything we've done so far, this is going to be the end of episode 10. So, episode 11... We are going... Actually, you know what? No, we're going to go back in the bunker. Where it's episode 10, it's a... Like, we're going to go back down in there and figure out what those flipping guys with the stuff is if anything we die we come back to our main base but in the next episode we're going to get that shotgun so i feel like we're kitted up enough right now that we can go down here and uh sort out our feelings with these uh people in suits they're definitely stout individuals i don't want to like waste all my Wait, did I, you know what I just realized? I'm glad that I just thought about this. I did not go in there and save after I'd done the stuff I just did. So let's go in here and save. Looks like the sun might be setting as well. Because we, uh, we kind of need to go through a section. So we're, at least now we're nice and saved. I just hope that flipping uh, toothed monster do jig has not spawned back, because then that's just going to add time to time to the equation of things we have to deal with. Flippity climb down. See, for some reason, I was thinking that the uh, the shotgun was buried at that dig site for some reason, but apparently, uh, it's not. Which is a good thing because that means that's just something we don't got to deal with now. Okay, yeah, if those arrows haven't spawned back on the bodies, then that means we should be good about everything else. We can just make a beeline for the butler. I'm just kind of, I'm curious as to, like, how, like, they got infected, if they just was, like, some of the last people left and just got used as test subjects. Oh. Oh, I bet I could take and lure them in here and drown them. Because, like, it seems like these creatures just completely forget what it means to swim. Okay, well, they're standing right there. I hope they didn't hear me. Just eat some dried meat real quick.
Come on in, boys. The water's fine. Jesus. These people are two tapping me? What is that? I mean, bro, if they're that strong, then there's got to be something else in there important besides a dress. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take and since we're going to spawn back at her place, I'm going to get a time bomb. If we can get them like gathered up at that door again, um, then we are going to uh, time bomb them. And like one time bomb, like one time bomb was taking out those giant clusters of like all of those like heavy mutants. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just feel like that should work. Like I don't know. Off the top of my dome, I don't know why that wouldn't work. I got a good handful of grenades too, but I think time bombs are hands down the way to go. So, because like we slept before we save, so let's slurp up. I just gotta make sure stamina stays good. Dried meat. And so, like, I know we've not really used the cross or the face mask that we have much, but like, I don't want to like this right here is going as far as this video is concerned. This is going to be the last. Attempt here for this video. Because <clears throat> we gotta be getting somewhere of importance. Considering all the waves we're making. But now that we took and died and loaded back in, I'm worried that we might have to fight this flipping tooth monster thing again, which would be unfortunate. Yeah, god dang it. Okay, maybe not. Well, that's a relief. Just have to traverse our way back through here. Makes you wonder how much a facility as swanky as this would cost to make, you know? They not in here now? Are they gone?
I mean, I hope I didn't just like completely boringly waste y'all's time. Kind of just thought there'd be more. Okay, wait. So wait, these guys, like mutants, are just chilling, sitting at the table, like there's a conference going on. Barbara Puffton. Edward Puffton. So I think these are the people that I was supposed to be looking for. Is that who I just had to fight? Let's get there. There's better light in here. Uh, Hank, we have wasted another full afternoon and still have been unable to find any trace of the golf balls. Uh, this is entirely unacceptable. Additionally, not getting a response to any of these emails is extremely unprofessional. Neither myself nor my brother are happy with how we are being treated. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That was a bit uh, anticlimactic. I mean, I'm sure it's very important for story's sake. Oh, well, when I said anticlimactic, I meant apparently we're still got stuff to do. Okay, so I, since the lighting is kind of poor, I'm just kind of checking the... Uh, cave wall here. Okay, so this leads to some type of cave system. Kind of wish I went back and put a tarp down in there. That way if I die, we can come back to something. Or maybe those mutants got in this way and they broke the glass. Maybe that's what that's about. Okay, I'm going to do this, which might seem stupid. But... Genius seems stupid sometimes. Let's do that, okay. Another brilliant idea. Okay, got tons of arrows. I'm assuming this probably just leads to like another something or other. I doubt it's like too big of a deal as far as like the section goes and like what it means. The flares here in Sons of the Forest last a lot longer than the flares of uh, the forest did. Okay, since we got them out of the way. We might just try to use flares as our main light source right now.
does give the cave system a, oh hello a much more eerie feel God dang, I'm, when it comes to hitting these bad boys with flare light, man, I'm nasty with it. You know what, and truthfully, now, I mean, I, I can pretty much use my flashlight too, I think. Probably be fine. We are in a new cave system, though, that's for sure. Oh, hello. Oh, wow, okay. So, where are we at on the map? Huh. So, I guess that's just meant to be another way into that facility, and then you could kind of go back the other direction. So, that's interesting if you had the rebreather. Alrighty, guys, so that's going to do it for episode 10. This one's a bit longer. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and we will go get the shotgun on 11 and figure out what the next step is. Like, the doing the bunker on 11 should be pretty interesting. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Just got a playlist on here now. God dang, these guys, after you're, like, dealing with the mutants, these guys are easy peasy. So, yeah, you know, comments, like, subscribe, links in the description of the channels. Until the next one, adios.